Well, good morning. It's a beautiful day today. Uh, if you guys remember, <laughs> I got my trailer across that ditch. Uh, so Mia is here working again. Now she's working in the mud. And uh, she was doing those uh, rigid pipes, if you guys remember, from the last video where I was a little upset. And uh, you're probably wondering, why were you so upset? Well, you know, things pile up, right? Uh, so we did all that. We had these, we were told to do these at 80 inches. We did them at 82. This morning, they called me again. They said, oh yeah, we need them at 88 inches now. Yep, that's what they're doing. Now we're having to dig Yay. again and move the pipes once again. And I told him, I said, you're asking me to move everything again? He goes, well, I told you I was going to get back to you. Well, that was two days ago. I guess he expects us to just sit around and do nothing for two days. <laughs> but that's not how we operate. But anyway, so guess what? Moving the pipes once again. Once again. <laughs> and, you know, the problem is I'm just waiting for them to call me back later and say, oh, you know that I told you to move it eight inches? We're probably going to need 16 or something stupid like that. But whatever whatever you know we're at that point anyway gotta get back to work all right so i've been training for a few hours and uh now i need to cover up this ditch the electricians went ahead and moved those pipes once again and uh but now uh we're just gonna have to wait on inspection again uh, and uh but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and cover up this ditch because we don't need it open anymore the uh we need to fill it up most of the way, leave it about 18 inches down, and then we need to put down a safety tape, and then we'll just cover the rest of the way. So let me do that right now while the uh, trainer is at lunch. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, let me get this done right quick. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so I have the ditch pretty much filled in, but you can see it's not very even, not smooth, and we gotta lay that tape on there. So now let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna set the bucket about right there, and then I'm just gonna drive forward. This is what it looks like. What do you think, Mia? Looks good? Sure. Now I know where my three pipes are. <laughs> there you go. So we're marking these so that we know where the pipes are. You can see the excavator with that scoop or the, with that bucket did a pretty good job. Uh, now I need to add a just a little more dirt over there. And uh, after they lay the tape down, then I can cover it up. Uh, Hopefully, I mean, well, I'm gonna cover it up. But they said we were good to go, but lately that hasn't meant much. <laughs> All right, let me cover that up. All right, so I got. Part of the ditch covered up this is at least going to allow us to walk across uh, i need to smooth all this out obviously i got some base right there but i don't want to use it on the road because we're gonna have to put it over there 
but this uh like i said this gives us enough to walk around when are you going to be back to move the pipes um the ones in the ditch in the ditch yeah the no three. those those over there you know they're probably going to make us move them Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so now we're just turning it into a joke because at this point, anything's possible. Oh, the only thing we have to do now is uh, those need to be rigid, those PVC pipes right there. Uh, but of course, they were not, they didn't have any locally, so we're going to have to wait on that. Which means we can't call for inspection until we change those. Anyway, all right, I need, like I said, this needs to be better, but I need to get back to training, so. Are you hard at it? I am. Get everything ready. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting the uh, 3D coordinate rotation option installed and I'm testing the function at the moment. All right, so we had to install a 3D coordinate rotation option on this lathe so that we can do the brakes because you know they have the 20 degree uh, port and uh, all that fancy stuff so that's what he's working on he had to get it installed uh, these lathes come with some a lot of i mean they can do a lot but some functions can be added like that 3d what what is it that they use those functions mainly on like they use that to create angled features. The machine normally does your uh, squares and rounds and everything else. This allows you to put tools in that sit at an angle to the rest of the turret. So then you can do holes, slots, whatever you need to do. Right. So, so like I said, it's an option, which uh, I'm, I'm glad it is. Uh, and then we can allow, that will allow us to do all that angled stuff with this lathe. So uh, there's a lot more options that you can purchase, but for me, that's all I need for right now. So what other cool functions can be added? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, there are all kinds of options that you can add to these machines. Um, you can add probing for measuring the parts in the machine. You can add uh, functions to help reduce chatter and help uh, eliminate many different things within the, within the machining process. It's, just, it's mainly, now Now it's mainly like, it's, it's almost like an iPhone, right? You just buy all these apps and then... That's pretty much exactly what it is. <laughs> you can add all these things after you purchase it. There you go. So, I mean, this thing already looks like an iPhone. It's all touch screen and it's got apps and all that cool stuff. But anyway, that's what he's working on right now. He needs to test it, make sure everything works fine. And as soon as he's done with that, um, we're gonna take a tuna break. We already worked on the transfer. It, man, it works amazing. <laughs> we'll do the transfer, and uh, but I'll show you some of that. And after that, we start working on the break. Right? Correct. <laughs> I'll get out of his hair. He's busy. <laughs> He's got jokes, I like it. All right, stay with me. Almost done for the day. Uh, Ross went home a long time ago. Today is uh, my wedding anniversary. <laughs> so I went in the house, had dinner with my wife and the kids, and back at it. Uh, I need to get some, I need to get some, uh, I need to get something going. So let's run this program. I think we're, uh, we're good to go. Uh, oh, there's the doors. Okay. So, Let's see if we can get something going here. Gotta start it slow. Makes me nervous. There it goes. Now it's gonna get really fast, real quick. There it goes. Oh, now we can't see anything. That's a drill. obviously drilling the hole and uh, you can see why it's pretty scary <laughs> this thing is super fast all right now we're gonna bore that hole but 
All right, so now we have the whole board. Now we're gonna pre-drill. I hope you guys can see this. It's hard to see, I understand. But it's pre-drilling because this one's gonna have a taper on it. So now we're gonna thread it. And again, you can't see anything. There it goes. So after it threads it, now it's gonna rough the OD, or the outside, the taper. And this is why we had to pre-drill, so that we wouldn't have to drill on that taper. Now it's gonna change over to the drill. Now it's gonna drill the hole the entire way. I'm trying to get you guys to see, but... All right, here comes the tap. This is tapping the, the holes. Three holes. All right, done tapping. Now it's going over to the, this is the boring bar again, it just does one pass just to clean out the uh, burrs on the inside. Now we're going to do a finishing pass on the outside. You can see how it's starting to shine, I hope you can see that. It's just putting a real nice finish on the outside. Now we're gonna we're gonna brush it. This is a brush that's gonna actually do the outside, make sure there's no burrs, there's there's nothing, and it's gonna give us a consistent finish on the outside. Alright, now we stopped the lathe because we need to check the threads. This is how you check the threads. This is a, a go gauge. This side is, you can see right there, go. All right, so you can see it's going. So back it off, and I'm doing this with one hand. If I drop this gauge, I gotta buy another one. And this is the no go. And that's as far as it went. Obviously, you're not supposed to force it, but... All right, so we're good to go on the threads. So we close the door. We continue the program. All right, this is where it gets a little scary. Okay, it grabs the part. It's actually gonna unclamp and it's gonna pull, you see it's pulling the bar out. And now it's gonna cut it off. There it goes. <laughs> and now we're gonna do the other side. There it went. This is the, uh, just gonna chamfer the inside of the part. There it is. All right, this is where it gets really cool. <laughs> it's been pretty cool so far, but look at that. <laughs> pretty cool, huh? All right, you heard it. There it is. One finished tapered easy tuner. It's a lot of long hours, but I think it's worth it. It will be worth it. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure <laughs> that I had at least one part done. Uh, so just so you know, I've made a lot of them. And just, you know, make one, change the settings, change the settings, make another, change settings, and uh, 
you know, we made a few the other day, but we were not doing the backside. We we're just doing the front. So we had that figured out. And of course now we got the uh, the other end of the of the uh, turret figured out. Part of it, got to perfect the, the process, but man, I'm really liking that brush. You know, that brush, you guys saw what it did. What it does is the brush spins one way and the, and the part spins the other way and it just sweeps it over and then of course gets you a nice consistent finish. Uh, thank you so much for being with me on this journey. Thank you so much. You don't even know uh, how much this means to me because I read the comments and a lot of you guys leave very encouragement, encouraging comments and I really appreciate that.